Hogan Lovells has got a massive commitment to pro bono work. Um, we're very keen to put something back. Our clients expect us to do it and it's a great opportunity for lawyers to um, learn new skills and uh, feel that they're contributing and using their skills for good rather than just paying customers. This particular project resonates with many people within the firm. It fits very much within our desire to help women and children um, who are the main people affected, though not the only ones by this uh, issue. And uh, there's been a great take up of people wanting to participate in, in this project all across the firm um, and in foreign offices as well, in, including in the US. It's a great project for all forms of lawyers, whatever they're doing. It's a great skill to be able to help people get the, uh, the to express them, tell their story in a way that uh, is coherent. A witness statement is particularly useful in this context. It helps the witness make sure that everything's down there on paper. When you're giving evidence live to a, the commission, or in, often in my past career, the court, um, witnesses tend to forget. Um, the pressure of the situation is there if they're being asked questions. They can be sidetracked off onto other issues. And uh, the key thing about having a witness statement is that an individual can go in knowing that they have everything there that they want to say and that that will form part of the record. We hope also that it will be useful for the Commission because they will have clear and well presented documentation that they can use um, when they come to considering their report. So we feel that this is useful for both the witnesses and the Commission, so um, it's a win-win. So far we've just concluded the initial pilot, we've done over 20 witness statements and we've had over a dozen lawyers working on those. I, I read every single one so I'm in the fortunate position of being able to have an overview um, and it's interesting al already that we're seeing great themes and patterns and similar experiences um, that a lot of people might have thought was unique to them. And as there's, there's twofold to two parts of the project. The first part, obviously, is helping um, uh, individuals tell their story. Um, the second part is to gather an archive and be able to make a collective submission. And um, having everything in one place and being able to use our document retention and management strategies to uh, um, pick up on themes, um, we, we, we're seeing a lot of those already. It's a very easy sell when you're trying to explain the situation to people. If you ask them to see the film Philomena, in an hour and a half you get the entire flavour of it. I was lucky enough to meet Philomena herself and the thing that struck me most about her was just how she's managed to get on with her life without rancour and is delighted to have been able to tell her story and find her son after all of those years.